This year's Republic Day Parade, on the Rajpath, included the biggest and most spectacular fly-past ever, with 75 aircraft taking part, to honor the 75th anniversary of the Republic. Viewers of the Republic Day Parade got to enjoy magnificent visuals of fly-past formations from the cockpit for the first time. The cockpit view and pilot view of the fly-past were introduced with special preparations. For this cockpit coverage of the IAF fly-past, 59 cameras and 160 workers have been deployed. Aircraft from the Army, Navy and Air Force took part in the magnificent spectacle. The fly-past began with four Mi-17 helicopters and five advanced light helicopters. Various vintage, as well as modern jets, and helicopters, like the Indian Navy's MiG-29K, P-8I surveillance aircraft, Rafale, Sukhoi fighters, Jaguar, Mi-17, Sarang, Apache helicopters and Dakota, displayed various formations. Despite the fact that, Tejas is not part of the contingent, here are some fascinating information, regarding this indigenously made aircraft. Tejas is India's first indigenously built fighter aircraft that meets international standards. In 1984, Aeronautical Development Agency was set up by the government to develop the LCA program. It was only in 1993 that the proposal for development of Tejas was submitted. On 4 January 2001, the light combat aircraft made its first flight, which was a significant milestone in the Indian aviation industry. The unstable configuration approach, with which the Tejas was made, is one of the primary elements that distinguishes it as a one-of-a-kind aircraft. To put it simply, a car is far more stable than a bike, yet it lacks the same maneuverability as a bike. Combat aircraft must be extremely maneuverable to defend itself from incoming threats. Tejas features a single dorsal fin and a pure double delta wing design with no tailplanes or canard. The aircraft has relaxed static stability, a fly-by-wire flight control system, a multi-mode radar and a flat-rated engine. In its class of modern supersonic combat aircraft, the aircraft is the smallest and lightest. Tejas had to go through several layers of testing before being certified ready. Before an aircraft is deemed fit, it must fly numerous times in diverse situations and settings. Tejas uses a number of characteristics to keep the RCS low, including the wide use of composite materials, which do not reflect radar signals, Y-shaped air inlets, and a large coating of radar-absorbing materials over the control surfaces. Tejas can carry the same arsenal of contemporary armaments as larger fighters such as precision-guided and standoff weaponry, as well as long-range, beyond-visual-range missiles capable of taking down target planes from a safe distance. The Tejas Mark 1A variant of the fighter has significant improvements over the Mark 1 variant. The Tejas Mk-1A light combat aircraft is equipped with important operational capabilities like is an active electronically scanned array radar, an electronic warfare suite, and the ability to refuel from the air. The reduction of screws from various airframe panels that required daily repair in order to shorten the aircraft's turnaround time. The Mark 1A model will also have ground handling aids and tests to allow maintenance workers to turn around aircraft more quickly. A radar warning receiver detects when an enemy aircraft's radar picks up one's own aircraft and alerts the pilot. With a significantly upgraded radar warning receiver system, the Mark 1A variant of the fighter will be better prepared to detect and defeat ground-based and airborne threats. The Tejas Mark 1A will also include an exterior self-protection jammer SPJ pod. The SPJ will improve the fighter's survivability against air-to-air -air and surface-to-air threats in a radar-guided weapons system environment. Tejas has already proved its capability to fire missiles like Vimpel R-73, close combat missiles, 
Derby BVR missile, 5th generation Python 5, air-to-air -air missile, Astra VBR missiles. The LCA program's goal was to develop the world's best single-engine lightweight fighter and also to replace India's aging MiG-21 fighters. LCA was officially named Tejas by the then Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee in 2003, which means radiant in Sanskrit.